Legion Season 2, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 11. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVMA, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we open on several minutes explaining the, I believe they called it the nocebo effect. The, yeah, not the opposite of the placebo effect, essentially. Which is basically the, you know, that is what the, the, the thing of the chattering teeth spreading is. And... Yeah, we see Farouk die and be buried in this very egg-like coffin. And, yeah, we go from, you know, yeah, we see the, the monk that, you know, they've been looking for, or that, yeah, David and Sid, I mean, have been looking for, you know, put his ear to the, the floor where they buried him and then it's a little while before we see him again um yeah some a couple of interesting scenes of the carries louder milk you know yeah obviously if it's a while before carry with a k can go back inside carry with a c That'll probably never stop sounding gross, considering they're related, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah. She's going to have to learn how to, to eat and drink. And, and, you know, because she is a person who is not, you know, she, she usually kind of jumps into things. So she, you know, drinks a lot of the, yeah. And then they have the scene of... Her experiencing going to the bathroom for the first time, which, yeah, not sure I expected seeing something like that, or hearing about it anyway. We we are not shown, which I appreciate. And yeah, the monk is missing. And, let's see, yeah, um, David goes back and talks to, to Farouk, and I'm not 100% certain where they're going, so I'll withhold judgment until I see, but yeah, he basically tries to explain things from his certain point of view, and, and, you know, Lenny is really struggling with being trapped you know she she says I'm like a pet and you know says yesterday I tore all my hair out but now it's back maybe that was just a dream you know that it's, yeah it is deeply disturbing to to struggle with separating dreams from reality and Right. Um, I yeah. So at one point they're they're looking for Sid and David are looking for the monk, and we, you know, yeah. Sid investigates by you know training places with the cat, and we get the POV. We get cat cam. I love this show. And yeah, David comes back out of it and realizes every, you know a lot of others have been infected and he's going through the the corridors there's a cow just stand there you know wanting someone to to go milk it and right i quite appreciated the the reveal that you know no it's not it's it's the monk who's making people's teeth chatter it's just that farouk is trying to catch up to the monk so the, you know, basically div the divisions mistook a, a symptom for the disease, which is something that happens. And, and yeah, you know, they have not been giving Farouk 
a lot of benefit of the doubt, which, you know, fair enough, considering what we've heard about him. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if there is more to him than, yeah. I really appreciate that Tonami's the 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 fantasy that he is ends up trapped in is one with no memories you know just living in the now although you know Carrie with a K is like wow you know but then or, yes, Carrie with a C is do I have that right Carrie with a C you know and then David points out what if it was Carrie and he's like okay fair enough you know this is not and see. I appreciate the thing, you know. Oh, yeah, you, you know, you, you were a real snazzy dresser in in the maze. He always is. Tony, always like really. I don't think we've seen him in a in a suit that wasn't amazing yet. And then they go into Melanie's mind, where. I mean, it's it's Zork. It's it's the it's basically Zork. You know the. Nothing but the words describing where you are, and then you have to type in commands to go. So yeah, that's that's amazing. Love it. Absolutely love that. Yeah. Um, and the the let's see. Um, yeah, and you know, turns out there's there's a minotaur in this cave. So some nutter in this base shag that cow and and I do appreciate this thing you know I, I love Tonami and and um, Carrie being you know competing backseat gamers like you look around you always look around you know and the you know you you climb and up oh, it ends in darkness um, climb back up jump and th they actually do land physically also in the, yeah. And, yeah, I, I quite liked when, you know, yeah, they, uh, they ultimately reach a dead end. Roxanne, what did I tell you about that red light? And, you know, David types in... That is a very nice, you know, basically, yeah, this is, that is what Melanie wants, you know, the, the, yeah. And I like Carrie being like, that, that was very sweet, but I think, you know, and see, yeah, and David goes into the memories of the monk and ends up communicating with him on top of the building. Oh, right, yeah, and, uh, and and in between that we have the, yeah, it's, you know, the monk, instead of speaking, has, has hooked himself into one of the vermilion, so we have two vermilion, you know, one speaking for Fukuyama, one speaking for the monk, that was a, a quite good idea, and this thing of, you know, what what's the weapon to fight Farouk, and you know, Melanie realizes it's David. And, yeah, really great scene of David and the monk on top of the, the, the roof. And I love this bit of, like, you know, have you got a girlfriend? G girlfriend? I do. Well, I have two. Well, I mean, they're kind of the same person. They just, I, I mean, just timeline wise it's like because I guess there are two people because people change don't they and the monk is just like dude I what what are you what I, I'm not the right person to talk to about this you know just which like yeah you know when when you're when you're trying to figure something like that out you can't help but bring it up to, to people you know not that my girlfriend has ever time traveled but hypothetically, and yeah, David realizes that Sid has been infected as well and goes into her mind and is like in this like snowstorm, you know, frozen. There's an igloo, or my father insists I pronounce it igloo, which is how the Greenlandic people pronounce it. 
yeah, that was not completely smooth. I'm a little rusty. But the yeah, that's a really great hook for I'm I'm really looking forward to to seeing yeah, him trying to to free her from it as well. I'm going to try to do an episode tomorrow. But yeah, a really really fantastic episode again and uh, right, I like the thing of, you know, okay, so the kids can't be infected with the teeth chattering, but the the monk hums this Pied Piper thing, and just, yeah. Right, I appreciate this thing of, you know, will I need my gun, which, like, yeah, he really does, like, if, if Tonami isn't interacting with someone's memories, he's got the gun out. Like, those are his two solutions to problems. But, yeah, you know, um, Carrie is like, oh, you know, the, the kids have guns, but they're kids, you know. I'm not gonna... We do not approve of, of shooting children. You know, we're not the NRA. And, yeah, um... Right, also the, the visual of the, the bloody handprint on the inside of the room, you know, that was really, really creepy. And you have this thing of, you know, you couldn't have gone out, it's a sealed room, and then you see, you know, the, the I guess it's like a um, vent. It is by all accounts a vent. And... Yeah, I, I the, the thing of, you know, Farouk saying, you are still young, you think justice is a glass jar, you think I don't have a jar of my own, and I dropped the keyboard again, and yeah, um, real looking forward to the next episode, gonna try to make it tomorrow, definitely will be soon, catch you then.